Peter, what are you doing? My Kung Fu master is teaching me to hone my senses and perceptions. I lose my sight, but feel the trajectory through a sixth sense. My mother would like to meet you. Oh, brilliant. Just be... Yes? I, I don't know. I, I feel I want you to be something for her, but I have no idea what. Ah. Uh. Huh? I recognize it. In my mother's presence, I would often be stuck to the floor in unsureness, not knowing what was required, but knowing something was. It's not like that. Stop doing that. Uh, don't mention the bridge and just be something. Dimitri says the last thing we should be is something. In fact, I cannot wait out there forever watching the guards undress me with their Russian mouse eyes. Emperor Peter, do we still call you that? You may call me whatever you wish, for it is such a joy to meet you. For when this angel slipped from between your legs into the world, it was the happiest of days for me. You speak well of someone who took your empire. <laughs> we don't have to be I love her. And the empire-taking thing, long story. I was very hungry. She has Paul inside her, so couldn't kill her. A conflation of occurrences that has led us here. And, as my master Dimitri would say, to this point, that is right in all its rightness. Cake, mother-in-law, dearest? Good grief. So, did I hear you say that you love her? I do love her. No, he thinks he does. I do. And her me, although she is struggling admitting her feelings. It's not a struggle. I'm fond of you the way one feels seeing a cat with no eyes and a limp paw. Cats like that fill you with lust? No. More I vacillate between pitying it and murdering it. Oh, how you fight yourself. It is fascinating and endearing to watch. How very interesting. Mm. It's not. It is curious and yet somewhat comical. A great love story. I have Voltaire working on the memoir of it. You do not. It will be a classique, formidable and a je ne sais quoi. So you are sanguine about her taking your empire? I don't want it. Right. I sense that you are humoring her through this. <laughs> He's not humoring me. Mother. I was, but now you I... You are my prisoner, and I will cut your fucking head off if I win it. But do not. Although, in a sense, she is right. I am her prisoner, for I am trapped by her love. <sighs> but let us talk of you, Joanna. What style? What grace? Your skin is porcelain, your eyes just piercing with intelligence. How do you entertain yourself in confinement? I recently had an epiphany. French, for fuck me, I'm all wrong, and now I see the truth of myself. Fucking hard going, this spiritual path, but I'm resolved for Paul to do it. I also study French, Kung Fu, theology, astronomy, and have lately invented many condiments containing whipped egg yolks with mustard and lemon. A sort of egg and aise. It is dull to speak of oneself so much. You asked him. No, you are indeed right. How was your trip? How was my trip? What a sparkling conversational gambit. Thank you. Did you find any tasty morsels on the journey? Calcots are in season. Often they just grow wild by the roadside and when grilled... I'm done. He is interminable. What? Uh, mother. I don't think you understood the throwing and catching of the capes. Is he still talking? You could have at least cut out his tongue if you weren't going to kill him. Oh, she likes my fucking tongue. <laughs> he is a strange one, isn't he? I need him alive politically, and he is the father of my child, so... Fathers are overrated, as you know. Overrated. And basically harmless, as you know. Perhaps. You like him? I do not. I, I am fond, and he is curious and kind sometimes, but he's a terrible person as well. What a mess. It is not. I don't think it is. I know you don't. That's why you have me. Always was. <sighs> Stop scratching. You're rash. I haven't had it for ages, but yes. Put some cream on it. And get some sleep, darling one. Woof, woof. Woof, woof. Oh, I heard the Norwegian scientist is missing and he had a fridge device. Are you looking for him? I would love to see that. <laughs> you 
fucking idiot. Fucking, fucking idiot, Catherine. 